do a nice steady tripod shot only to find that you still have camera shake, well, sweat it no more because Tony and I have come up with an uber corny mnemonic to help you remember and that's the acronym SWEAT. SWEAT stands for surface, wind, extension, action, and tighten. Let's start with S which stands for surface. So right now I'm on this beautiful boardwalk and it looks nice, but if you've ever tried to take a tripod shot when people are walking on an unstable surface like this, you know that it can shake your shot. So you have to be conscientious of whether or not the surface you're putting your tripod on is moving, and that's not always really obvious. A bridge can be blown in the wind or the vibrations from the vehicle can be vibrating it so in a long exposure, those little movements show up. There are some obvious examples like floating docks and boats. Your tripod's not gonna help you there. You're better off just hand holding with image stabilization. Also consider if you're in a shifting surface. So sand will shift over time, mud, or if your tripod is in water, the movement of the water will shake your tripod as well. W is for wind. If you leave your strap attached to your camera, it can actually blow around and cause some camera shake. And if your camera is unstable or your tripod, the wind can actually shake that as well. Some tripods come with a hook in the middle to stabilize your photo, but on a windy day, whatever you're hanging from there to weight your tripod could actually blow in the wind and make the situation worse. E is for extension. If you have all of your legs extended completely on your tripod, and your center column extended, your tripod isn't as stable as it could be. Put your center column all the way down and only extend as many legs as you have to. Put the skinniest leg out last because it's the least stable. Another example of incorrect extension is if you don't put all of your tripod legs out evenly so that your camera's in the center. So you can see that this leg is pulled in a little bit, making it unstable. You have to completely extend each leg Another time I run into stability issues is when I want to shoot vertically on a tripod and I put my camera off balance like this, very common. Sometimes it works fine, but if you want to make sure you get that stable shot, you can always get an L bracket like this, and then you can mount your camera vertically but still keep the center of balance. A is for action, which isn't really as exciting as it sounds. Just consider your actions that could be shaking the camera. You could be pressing the shutter button, that could be shaking your camera. To avoid shaking your camera, use a five second shutter delay or a remote shutter trigger. Problem solved. Another thing that could be making your photo shaky is image stabilization. Who would have seen that coming? Typically, I've only noticed this problem if I have a third party brand as a lens on my camera. So that's the only time that I turn it off. The other problem is remembering to turn it back on. So if you turn it off, remember to turn it back on. Maybe even set a little reminder on your phone because that is frustrating. T is for tighten. Any part of your tripod that you do not have tightened is going to be wobbly and unstable. So make sure your ball head is tight, make sure all of your legs are tightened properly and that your tripod is stable. That's a simple one. And don't forget to tighten the quick release plate. It's crucial. If yours is toolless like mine, it's easy. You can just tighten it. If yours requires a tool, always have it on you. If you're forgetful like I am, you can replace it with one that has a little tool here so you don't need to remember it. We have a whole video on this, so click right here to go to that. Another thing to consider is that your tripod has a bunch of little screws and things that may need to be tightened at some point, like this one. You can go through and tighten them all with the appropriate tool. Tony made an entire video on gear maintenance, so you can check that out. It's in the description below. Did you learn something from that? Because Tony and I have so much more where that came from. We have so much to offer you. We even have an entire photography book with 14 hours of video. So check the description below, hit the subscription if you'd like to see more videos like this for freebies, and hit the like or the dislike depending on how cool you are. Are you cool?